Alright, ladies and gentlemen of Twitch and of YouTube, this is Captain Smashroom, and I'm going to be going through my first uh, impressions and my experience with the beta as it is ending tonight. It will be over, I believe either it is over tonight and tomorrow is the last, or tomorrow is the last day. Either way, time has run very short on it, and I'm going to be playing a little bit of the uh, beta and just giving some of my initial thoughts about the beta. All of you people who are here watching live, hello, you exist. Yes, you exist. And those of you who are not here live, who are watching this on YouTube, hello, is it me you're looking for? No, actually, you're probably looking for a little bit of Battlefield 1 footage so that you can make a little bit of a better decision about whether or not you should get it. Um, I'm running this on a piece of garbage video card just to show you what you can expect if your computer has subpar specs. I'm on a, uh, a G or XFX uh, Radeon 7770 gigahertz edition. I would suggest this is probably the lowest end graphics card you're going to want to run this game on. I run it on the lowest possible settings. And uh, I'm just going to give you guys a, a little idea of what you can expect from this game on basically a $60 graphics card. Uh, specifically the 7770. Or if you're on like a, a 710, uh, Radeon 710 or plus, this is what you're probably going to expect. Um, Alright. I'll just give you guys an idea. Now, my initial impressions with the, the classes is I feel like the accuracy on this gun in particular for the uh, the assault units isn't the best thing I've ever seen. One of the funnest things in the game, honestly, is going to be driving these vehicles. The vehicles are amazing. They handle extremely realistically. You can actually peel out a little bit. You can feel it drift on the sand, and it's really, really quite cool. Now there's potholes. You can actually fire mortars, and it will actually cause changes in the environment. That That is something I've noticed, and that is something really, really crazy about this game, is that you can really change up the environment. So if I, if I hop out here, hop into the back here, get into my turret and start just oh oh god uh uh oh god okay so we get into the turret the f buttons actually allow you to choose f2 i believe is going to be the main cannon we can actually blow holes in these walls here Alright, taking damage to our hole. Now this is on the lowest graphic settings. This game is absolutely playable. It looks good. It looks fine. It's not the greatest graphics, obviously, with the uh, with the cheapo graphics card. It will run much better with the 1080, but this is this is sort of an example of what you can expect if you haven't got a lot of money and you want to be able to play this game. You could easily get a $50 graphics card and run this game. It's pretty sexy. <laughs> All your base are belong to us. Now, a live studio peoples. Yes, we have people watching this live. And uh and uh we will <laughs> We're gonna see We're gonna see just just how awesome the sniper is. Now I, I know that if you play this enough you can unlock different items, different versions of the weapons, and you can put those in your loadout and uh, get different perks from having different things from, you know, playing. But honestly, these environments are huge. It's absolutely realistic to play a sniper. Very, very, uh, most of the old maps in the old versions of this game did not accommodate well for snipers. The range of the maps was not great. So you were left basically uh, accepting the fact that you are going to almost always be in close range and uh, 
you are not going to be able to snipe very much. But uh, in fact, you actually can snipe in this, and it is very, very beneficial to to run a sniper if you know what you're doing. I'm going to pick up a moving target here. Oh god. All right, he picked me off. Uh, he's a hider. That grenade got him. Beautiful game, though, you guys. Extremely realistic. The better your graphics card, the better your effects are going to be. I suggested NVIDIA GTX 1080. If you really want to get the, all of the beauty out of this game, that's what you're going to want to be running. Uh, that's what I plan on getting. But this is just a show. For those of you who can only afford maybe a $50 or $60 graphics card, you can get the 7770 gigahertz edition and many other gigahertz plus video cards off of eBay for $50 to $150, no problem. I suggest at least a two gigabyte card with at least gigahertz uh, clock, base clock, not gigahertz overclock. You're gonna want a, a gigahertz base clock, 1000 megahertz, uh, essentially. Um, anything over that and you're gonna be great. Um, this game is just, I'm so excited to play this. I'm so excited to play this on release. It's I'm really looking forward to it. He's doing the YouTubes. Yeah, Corazon. Hey, man. Double recording. Yeah, I'm recording. YouTubesing. Uh, the frame rate may look lower on the uh, recording, but I, I will assure you that I am getting 46 frames. It is fully playable. I can see everything. The speed is good. I'm, I'm not being hindered at all by my graphics card. I'm getting an absolutely playable frame rate on a $50 card. On a five-year-old used, this thing's got miles on it. So if you get a 7770, um, you bitch. You got, oh, fuck me. Well, did you guys see that quick scope? That was pretty goddamn sexy. Anyway, um... Excuse the language, by the way. Uh, I got I got startled. Um, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, <laughs> your webcam is blocking the radar. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you guys don't need to see the radar as bad as I do. But here, I'll show you the map. You can zoom in just by pressing M. It's pretty, pretty slick. This whole system is so clean and so fresh. There. The it feels all right no bullet drop no bullet drop at this range I don't believe but I believe that the, the physics has actually included bullet drop into the dynamics um, bullet velocity is a huge factor Got a guy with an automatic trying to hit me. That is a friendly plane. Oh, we've got... We've got movement. Alright. Trying to be a good little scout sniper. Well, I'm not exactly a scout sniper, am I now? I'm more of a... I'm a, I'm a rear line. Your webcam is blocking me. Yeah, I'm sorry. You guys don't really need to see the, uh, the radar, though. We're looking for... I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll look at the radar if you guys want to see the map periodically. But, um... Let's see. Oh, you little stinker. You bastard. Get back here, you little shit. I hit him. I hit him. I'm... Ah! Uh, why did that not get a kill? That was a chest shot. That should have popped his heart. I hit him. Ah, uh, this game is intense. It's beautiful. You can get good frames with a crappy video card, or you can have amazing graphics and amazing frames with an amazing video card. They really made it accessible, and they really made a point of making it accessible. To anybody of any, you know, uh, almost any financial level. If you can afford an Xbox, uh, you can definitely afford a PC that'll play this for a relative price. 
Um, you definitely, you definitely going to be able to play this, and the experiment experience is going to be good, even on your five hundred dollar gaming PCs, even on your six hundred dollar gaming PCs. My setup, for instance, is six hundred dollars with this video card, and nine fifty with or a thousand with the card that I want. So it's only a matter of time. All right, pistol time. You bitches. Ah, pistol didn't work. Right in his testicles. <laughs> yeah, I got him pretty good. Um, at least I'm getting a kill for for each of my deaths. That's or close to a kill for each of my deaths. I got 74%. I mean, that's that's all right. Uh, I'm trying to do better. I I honestly haven't been able to play this very much because I've been focusing on other games with the release of uh, Legion recently. I've been really, really honing in on that game, um, trying to get things figured out, trying to get my guide videos out, whatever, I, whatever I can come up with, you know, providing things for. Oh, you bastard! Oh God, there is some advantage at this medium range to having the automatic weapons. That's absolutely for certain. I hit him for 81, and then he, uh, and then he, he hit me for the rest. So we're actually gonna switch to automatic and I'm just gonna go wreck some face. All right. All right, I see what's coming. Enemy hit 20, wow. See, it's so inaccurate. You really gotta get on the ground. I prefer the sniper. I can definitely do a lot more damage with the sniper. The quickie scopes. But anyway, that, that's... That's essentially the first look. If you haven't already seen other video footage, and you probably have, but I'm just showing you guys straight up. For those of you asking what video cards are gonna run this, we're talking anything in the gigahertz plus range is gonna be golden. And that means gigahertz core clock, base clock, not gigahertz overclock. So you go gigahertz base clock, you might overclock to 1200 or whatever. You're gonna get, you're gonna get better response uh, out of that. So here's another thing that's fun. You can try and shoot at planes. You can actually hit them if you can uh, calculate the distance and the velocity accurately. We have taken objective apples. Ah, I killed him. You bitch! You stinky, stinky bitch. All right, I'm gonna try to get up onto this. There's a bit of a, there's like a free running mechanic that if you, if you can time it out perfectly, get up there, you, get up there, you, I mean, you cheeky monkey, get, okay, now we can't. All right, we're gonna hug the low side of this cliff. Let's see if we can get a, Lost objective dark. Captain could make a montage. Burr, 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 burr. Well, I'm definitely glad that I recorded the. Uh... We have taken objective Charlie. Oh shit. I 
I got this. We have lost objective apple. Wait for it. I got this. We are losing objective Charlie. Did I get the tank? I don't even know. Woo! Canvas. <laughs> what is this? Alright, time to go in as an assault. We gotta go in as assault, because we got lots of salty peeps uh, wanting to die. You piece of shit, get on the ground. You don't know who you're dealing with. Alright. All right, this is a terrible place to stand. All right, we gotta run. We gotta move as fast as we can because they are everywhere. You piece of shit. All right, I know he's up here. No, he's not. All right. We are losing objective Charlie. All right. Nope. All right. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. He's coming in. Oh shh! Did he just come up behind me? Damn it! I thought I was being quick. Ooh. I want that rug he passed. <laughs> Whew. Get your heart going. Get your heart going. But as you can see, this game is very playable on this graphics card, which is just a really cheap, simple. 60, 50 or 60 bucks used. And this one is hella used. This was, uh, this was the only graphics card on a serious gamers uh rig for five years so not me not even me my roommate uh he he really used put put a lot of use into this that was definitely a headshot and i don't know why i missed i missed every shot hey captain blazem what is this uh i mean robert hi robert assault has got an anti-tank grenade so we are gonna just roll in with this little buggy. Get your buggy on. We got a boogie boogie on down. We're gonna ghost ride this. We're gonna okay. Their tank, I believe, is down. Audio just shit itself. That's fine. Alright. F3. Four. We have taken objective Charlie. All right. Assault mode. We are going to assault that house. I don't care who's in it. It's time to get roasted. We are losing objective Charlie. Play tank support. We win. Woo! Go back and cap. GG. We win, boys. Anyway, that's it.
My first impressions of the uh, Battlefield 1 is that, oh my god, this game is going to be so worth it, so amazing. You're going to be able to play it on almost any computer, as long as you got at least a $60 graphics card and a medium run-of-the-mill processor, probably at least dual core, maybe quad core, not going to matter that much. Probably want 4 gigs to 8 gigs of RAM, but as far as video card goes, I'm making it on a $50 used video card that I'm borrowing from my roommate. You're definitely going to be able to play this game on just about anything. So look forward to it. Whether you got an Xbox, PS4, PC, doesn't matter. It's going to be awesome. Obviously, I play it on the PC because keyboard, because PC, master race. Bye, everybody.